Hi, I'm Kitty and I'm going to show you how to draw a child's face. Uh, so what you'll need is an A4 size piece of paper, a pencil and a rubber. So um, this is my little boy uh, who has kindly <laughs> volunteered his face for this tutorial. Uh, along with a little bit of bribery but um so first up I'm going to draw an oval so with children's faces their faces are uh, usually a lot more um, a lot more overly than adult faces so I'm just going to draw a big oval to start with and take it out a little bit further this way and I'm just going to build on that oval as we go. So it's like that and then I'm just going to rub out this bit. just look at the structure of the face so is uh, with this oval we kind of see that an oval shape probably is in amongst here so we want to bring his cheeks out and then out on the side as well so just uh, make that oval a little thinner there for his chin and then I'll just bring that cheek out and around and up to join that and then down a little bit into that chin and a little bit of flat flattened across the, the bottom there like that and then out this side like that and again I'll just bring that a little bit flatter across there Then just take my rubber again and just rub out that part of the oval there. Just make that a little bit rounder. Like that. And just looking at the proportion so his eyes are probably about um, halfway maybe a little bit of hair sticking out the top there making that height a little bit more but usually you just take a line across like that and I'll take one down the middle just like that. And then for the eyes themselves, I'm going to make them slightly more on that side so I like drawing in pencil first because you can kind of work out where you're going with your drawing and move things around without too much drama mine's slightly off there so just straighten that up a bit like that
happening. So for his ear, we'll take his ear up. Just like that. Let's see how that comes just. It's a weeny bit above that eye. And then again on this side. And then for his nose, probably look and see put that far down there. And then his top lip. Then bottom, top of the lip and then bottom of that lip. He's doing a bit of a smile there. And just round that up so we can start to just placing that mouth in there. Like that, and then across. Like that. Slip here, come down and around. And up. So there's our kind of basic lip shape there. And then a little bit of lines happening on the sides of that for sides of the mouth. And then just coming back um, to our mapping out of things, just with the hair as well. So I bring that down. It's coming along down the side of his face. And kind of in there to his forehead and up. A bit more straight than that. And that forehead kind of goes across like that. And then down on the side. Just bring it down to that ear bit and up. This top part of the hair is more square, so just take it up slightly and square it off. Bring it down and around like that. And with his fringe as well, he's got some messy stuff happening there, so just gonna use quite random um, like little triangle sweeping across there to give that that hair coming across, that look of the hair. And then comes across sweeps in front of the forehead. And then up. Like that. And then we've got another bump here happening. And kind of coming out here as well. Messy hair day for the young man. And then just a bit out here too. 
Cool, so we've got a basic shape of the hair now too. kind of nose there, kind of rounded on the top like that and coming out a bit wider and then here with the nostrils coming up and in and just that little bit on the side of the face goes up into the eyebrows and in this nostril as well before I get too carried away with eyebrows come down into this eyebrow on the side oh. I was just going to take my rubber now that we've got everything kind of planned out and just rub Rub out those guidelines. Go back in and just fix up some of those lines that I rubbed out by accident. Just like that, and then just round that out a bit more. Like that. Cool, and then I'm um, just going to go back in now and just fix up the eyes. So, as you can see here, the little eyelid we can see coming across the top like that, and then down into there, a little bit along the bottom, and then across where he's kind of crinkling his eyes, and then his his iris and pupil. Circular circle, but um, they're actually the circle goes behind the eyelids. There's a little bit in the eye there as well, and then the pupil. And we've got a bit of a highlight there too, and then this one. eyelid coming across like that a little bit underneath there too where the eyelashes are and then some a little bit of a crinkle in his eye from where he's smiling a little bit of a line there in the corner of his eye and then that circle
And then just go back in and just darken up. And I can do this by just kind of making the line a bit thicker, just to give that hint of eyelashes there. Like that, and then on the side. Just a little bit of um, kind of a random lines out the side there. But you see how you don't have to do much to make it look like the eyelashes are kind of facing towards us. And then just under here, we'll just do a few little lines for the bottom ones. Like that. And then for the nose, we'll just finish that off. So we go in just those little nostrils there, they come out and around. Like that, and then on the side. We'll do some shading soon, but just take that up like that. Then the lines that come down just join those ones by the mouth. Slightly curved like that, and then it's going to come down those two front teeth, and then one tooth there, up into that tooth there, and going down here, and then it's another teeth coming in. Uh, working with the, the little lip that he hurt as well, so it's a little bit swollen in this picture. So now we've got all that, um, those details kind of mapped out, we can go back in and start doing some shading. So today we're going to do some um, gradient shading, which is uh, kind of more the light to dark or dark to light um, version of shading. So to start with, I'm just going to work around the nose. So I'm just going to start by just coloring really with my pencil quite lightly. And here I'm not putting much pressure on at all. Just um, really gently, really gently applying pressure there. I'm just making it, just pressing a little bit harder along that bit and then gentle pressure again like that just to give that, that shading there. And just come around this part of the nose, just pressing a little bit harder. It's a bit darker on that side than up the nostril. And then just really gentle pressure there. And then just a little bit harder on that part of the nose. Like that. And then again, just gentle pressure. 
just this bit here. A little bit darker there. And then a little bit darker around that nostril and then light. And then again just press a little bit harder around here. And we're just accentuating those lines and pushing that part of the body out. Like that, and then a really gentle pressure here along that line of the nose. Like that. down around here just push some gentle pressure in and on the side coming down into the chin area to see how that's quite uh, quite gradiated down there so just start really gently first and come up and then around the side that's so putting that really light shading in first and then I'll add a bit more pressure to give us that gradient and then again on the side it's really light pressure coming up and I'm just going to press slightly harder especially around that chin and cheek it's a little bit of a um, gradient happening in there, so just like that, pressing down. Just like that. Again on the side, just take that gentle gradient up or gentle shade up his cheek. Just gonna push a bit more, put a bit more pressure down here. Just release the pressure as I get further up. Like that. Then around this bit, he's also got a bit of a gentle shading just around his cheeks. To make those cheek areas come out a little bit more like that and then on the side as well. So again, just running along that line, they're quite, late, um, quite gentle pressure and then on the slide side of the line as well. A little bit darker, a little bit more pressure now to build that up, and then just a little bit of pressure across the air, like that, just to get that shading happening underneath that cheek, like 
like that and then just come down under those little smile lines on his eyes just do a bit of shading in there and then on here as well his eyes just stuck in these outside bits up a bit and then that bit in the middle there and then I'll just basically give them a little bit of a colour in like that and then just under here let's give them a bit of a shade to show that those eyelids are above the eye itself. Just like that and then on this side as well. Just darken it up a bit. Shade it in. A little bit of colour. And a little bit of shade happening there. Like that and then across. shade across those cheeks and then of course across the um, eyelid area as well I'm just going to make that a bit darker and just take that gradient shade up like that so we're just applying pressure kind of near nearer the line the crease in the eyelid and then as we move a little bit further away, we just release that pressure like that, and then on the side as well. Just pressing a little bit harder, and then just release that pressure up. Back down under here, just give that a little bit of a shade, and that too. It's really gentle, and then a little bit of a shade on the lips, like that, and then down here, it's a bit of shading on the side. And then on the teeth, just to make the lips stand out, just put a bit of a darker shade along the tops there, like that. And then just underneath, do a gradient shade again. We just press it a bit, a bit darker, and then out to the light.
So I'm just going to go back in and fix up the hair too. So just to give that a bit of texture, I'm just going to do some like random lines and that just helps give that hair texture there. Just like making them kind of short and long, and it just kind of gives that, that um, kind of strands, shows the kind of strands in there. underneath there just because it's sitting behind like that and then for the ear just um, do a little bit of a shade on that and just a bit of a line there where we can see that outer ear piece do a gentle shade across the forehead there where we see some shadow coming down so I just quite, do quite long strokes here it's kind of like that and then up across the eyebrow side just under that here a little bit there. So there you have it, how to draw a child's face and using a bit of gradient shading to colour it in. Hope you enjoyed doing that. See you later.